One of the go-to places for fed cook or amaguinia in Cape Town. This plaza shop has been around for more than two decades, but the continued load shedding is making trading difficult. I buy my goods and put them in the freezer. Two hours is off, another two hours is off, another two hours is off. And then it's, it really affects my business. I've got meat, I've got fish, I've got everything in my freezer. And of course, with the electricity, electricity I, I must bake. Maguinha, as you know, I must bake my fish. I must, and two hours later, there is no electricity. Taule says she's had to use part of her savings to invest in alternatives like gas and solar. But not all businesses can afford this. Her trading hours have also been dramatically affected. I used to start at 4 o'clock to, 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 to start the business inside. But now eh, because it's dark, I can't do anything. I must, the latest will be 7 o'clock when we can get the light from outside. In Kailicha, this hair salon owner is also struggling to keep afloat. The continuous power outages has resulted in a drop in customers and hence less income. We've been affected uh, a lot lately because of the load shedding. Most of the times the electricity goes off when you're blow drying someone, when you're washing someone. So I, it has affected us a lot lately. Business is now slow because when there's no electricity, no one comes to wash, no one comes to relax the air. The Cape Chamber of Commerce has slammed the constant power cuts as being disastrous, especially for small businesses, which have already been hard hit by the pandemic. What business needs is to be, to be able to plan. And the last thing we are able to do at the moment is plan, because you go from stage two to four to six to four. You know, the baker needs to get into his taxi early in the morning, get to work. The energy needs to be there for him to be able to do his job. It's an out-of-pocket expense for him, but it's also an out-of-pocket expense uh, for the actual small business that is unable to sell that loaf of bread today. The city of Cape Town says it will continue doing all it can to protect residents from the full impact of load shedding, but says its infrastructure is taking a severe beating. Heavy machinery such as, such as water plants, sewage pump stations, electricity transformers and substations are just not made to take this kind of abuse. The constant on again, off again is causing dozens of localised trips. The city says it's also deployed more than 100 additional traffic and law enforcement officers to help manage traffic consequences and to be visible in communities during periods of load shedding. Vanessa Puna, SABC News, Cape Town.